Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm here to talk to you about a question that you probably never thought you would ask or want to know the answer to, and that is, how do plants go to the bathroom? Well, humans produce metabolic wastes which go into the bloodstream and are filtered out by the kidney and go out in the urine, but plants do not have a urinary system, so what do they do? They still produce metabolic wastes, but they have no urinary system to get rid of those wastes. Instead, this is what they do. Inside of each leaf, there are many cells, and each of these cells has a little pond or a bag of water called a vacuole. And this bag of water is very important. It can fill up to 90% of the cell. And this vacuole has several different functions. It generates pressure. It stores toxins that allow the leaf to either poison or to drive away the animal herbivores that might otherwise eat it. But the, the uh, vacuole is also the place where the leaf dumps its metabolic wastes. And it does this a little bit every day, day after day, so that over the course of a growing season, this leaf can build up quite a polluted pond inside of its vacuole. Now, this is something it can't go on. This is not sustainable. A leaf can't keep polluting its pond forever, can it? Well, it doesn't go on forever because leaves don't live very long. In deciduous trees, for instance, they only live about a half year. In evergreens, then the leaves only live, uh, maybe, of course they live more than one year, but they might live two or three years in the case of pines. Bristlecone pines are the world record. They have needles that live 30 or 40 years. Now, right now, when I'm making this video, it is September, and so the leaves, such as these water oak leaves, have been accumulating toxins for about five months. I bet that means they taste really bad. Let's find out. It's so tough, I can't tell. Bad. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. Okay, so leaves taste really bad at the end of the year, but you know, I posted a video earlier in which I ate leaves that had grown in the springtime, and I found that they also tasted bad. And so the bad taste is dominated by the anti-herbivore compounds rather than the metabolic waste, so that at the end of the growing season, the leaves do not taste noticeably worse than they did at the beginning. And so that is the way that plants get rid of their metabolic wastes. This is Charles Darwin telling you something you didn't know that you wanted to know. Tally go.